welcome back guys welcome back to crown geek in this video i will be explaining that how to optimize windows 11 for gaming and get the best fps without any kind of delay so even if you don't do any kind of gaming it's still you should optimize your windows 11 to get the best performance so let's quickly get started now before starting i would recommend you that please create a restore point so that if nothing work for you or if you want to revert the action then you can quickly do that it's very simple to restore click on your windows search type create click create a restore point from the suggestion now here at the bottom you will find the create option click on create give a name so that you can easily identify so i can name it like windows 11 optimization then click on create and this will take few seconds to get created so once it's been done you can click on close then click on ok now next you need to make a right click on the windows icon then you have to click on settings in the setting you have to look for the storage now here it will list you all kind of categories that is occupying the space from your hard disk or ssd now here if you look on the temporary file that is on the very top that says around 173 gigabyte of space so now here you can see that what all is occupying the space and previous windows installation now most of you will get this option because whenever you upgrade or you reinstall windows you get this kind of previous windows installation so select this option then if you don't need the download select it if you don't need the recycle bin select it and select all these options here then you will see that around 175 gigabyte of a space will be free up from your computer now this can be less or more on your end depending that what kind of data has been occupied by the temporary files okay so click on remove file and all these space will be free up and that will be helping you to get the best performance now once you are done you can go back the same you can do by clicking on other document installed apps and videos once you are done below you'll find the storage sense option make sure this option has been enabled and then from the left hand menu option only click on personalization then click on colors and here you find an option of transparency effect now this basically create a transparency effect between the desktop and the window that you open so if i enable it you will see that there is a transparency effect but if you really want to enjoy the gaming so that the fps should be maximum there should be no delay and you get the best performance then you will have to disable this option once done from the left hand menu option only click on privacy and security here in the windows permission you have to disable the general option all these general option then speech you have to disable it inking and typing personalization disable it diagnostic and feedback disable it and in the app permission whichever you are not using you can go ahead and disable it okay so if you are doing gaming probably you might be using the microphone location then you can leave it and you can come to the bottom and you'll find radios task email call history if you don't use it kindly go ahead and disable it now finally click on windows update now this is another recommended method an outdated windows can have a lot of problem with your computer with the performance and overall settings so it's always recommended that kindly go ahead and update your windows 11 or windows 10 so that there should be no bug on your computer all right so kindly go ahead and update it once you are done make a right click on the windows icon then from the suggestion click on device manager in the device manager you have to scroll down a bit you will find system devices and in the system devices you will find high precision event timer now what you can do you can make a right click on it and choose disable device now disabling the high precision event timer most of the time it helps you to get the max fps and increase the performance so you can go and check this option but in case if this doesn't make any kind of changes then you can enable it back okay so once you are done you can close it next click on your windows search type power cfg dot cpl hit the enter key and now this will show you all kind of power plan so here you have to click on show additional plan 
and i would recommend that you should go with the high performance even the balance work but the high performance will always maintain the best performance mode okay if you don't have the high performance option then i've already created a video you can check that option to get this option back so once you select it you have to click on change plan settings click change advanced power settings a new box will be coming up now here click on pci express you will be getting link state power management click on it make sure this setting has been turned off then you will find processor power management now this minimum processor state and max processor state make it to 100 percent so double click make sure it's been 100 and in the maximum also it should be 100 then you can close it then from the left hand menu option click choose what the power button do then click on change setting that are currently unavailable and here you find an option of turn on fast startup recommended now why i'm recommending you to uncheck this option because the fast startup basically bypass many of the application for shutting down and due to which they run in the background and they always run in the background and they consume a lot of resources and that can basically let you with the bad performance and the low fps so it's better that you should uncheck this option and wait for some extra second to get computer shut down okay so once you are done click on save changes now next click on your windows search again type sys dm dot cpl hit the enter key this will bring up the system properties now from the top menu option click on advanced then under the performance click on settings and here this option might be selected to let windows choose or adjust for best appearance now what exactly you have to select here will be the third option adjust for best performance so basically what we are doing here we are disabling some kind of animation and graphics so that it should not use much of our resources and that resources basically we can use to get the best performance and to get the best fps okay so choose the third option and then we have to enable here a few of the important animation that is enable peak check this option show thumbnails instead of icons check this one show windows contents while dragging and smooth edges of a screen font so you need to check these four options then click on apply then from the top menu only click on advanced and make sure this adjust for best performance of has been selected to program and not to background services now it's also recommended that you should go ahead and increase the virtual memory so i've already created a dedicated video that how you can increase the virtual memory so that you can boost the performance of your ram to get the good performance okay so you can watch that video and increase the virtual memory as well and now click on ok click on ok again now next click on your windows search type mouse then click on mouse settings now here click on additional mouse settings this will bring up another box now here from the top menu option click on pointer options so now here make sure that it's being selected to 6 out of 10 and this enhance pointer precision option has been disabled by default this will be checked you need to uncheck this option then click apply then click on ok now next make a right click on the windows icon then click on task manager now here we have to disable some startup application so from the left hand menu option click on the startup apps now here we will have to disable all the third party application that we don't want that it should come along with the computer so the third party application like discord steam onedrive or any other third party application you need to make a right click on it and choose disable what you don't have to disable here is any kind of audio file network file wi-fi or antivirus file because that is required to run along with the computer then you have to close it then make a right click on the windows icon again click on settings in the settings search type and click game and you will be getting game mode settings now here just make sure the game mode option has been enabled then you can look for xbox game bar and disable this option all right so once you're done again go to game mode game mode settings 
now here below the game mode you will find the graphic option click on it now here many of you will find an option of hardware accelerated gpu scheduling so if you get that option on the top here then you have to click and enable it i don't see that option so i can skip it but if you find it then you can enable it and if you find change default graphic setting then you need to click on it and then you can find optimization for windowed games so you can enable this option then go back now where it says search this list it's always recommended that you should add your game here and select this to high performance okay so how you can do that you can click on browse and then you have to locate to that particular game path so to get the game path click on the windows search type valorant now this can be any game whichever you want to add i want to add valorant so i'm adding it make a right click on the game icon then click on open file location again make a right click on it choose open file location now copy the path from the top go back to the graphic box that we just opened paste the path here hit the enter key select the icon then click on add as i've already added so i'm getting a message but once added you have to click on the game icon click on option and choose this to high performance all right so finally we are all done we have successfully optimized our windows 11 for the gaming purpose and even it will be improving overall performance of our computer now another thing that i would also recommend you that while playing the game try to avoid any other application that you are not using okay so while playing the game just make sure that you make a right click on the windows icon click on task manager and from here kindly go ahead and close all the application that you are not using while playing the game so that you can get the best performance best fps without any kind of lag and freezing problem all right so if you apply all this solution i am very sure that you will find a great change you will enjoy the gaming on your windows 11 hopefully this will work for you guys as well and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe if you have any kind of question any kind of doubt then let me know in the comment section and i see you in the next video bye bye